the dead zone. And just a brief disclaimer, I bought this VHS online. I knew that it would also have Firestarter, but I bought it for the dead zone. And it says two horror classics, but it's really just the one, because Firestarter is pretty lousy. Anyway, following a car accident, Johnny Smith, a name that I think might mean that we're supposed to take him as just the everyman, wakes up from a coma and now has a psychic ability. And he soon discovers that he may in fact be able to affect the things that he sees. He may be able to prevent it from happening when what he's seeing is the future. He also befriends a boy that he's tutoring. His ex sort of still has feelings for him, so there's a little bit of a three-way love triangle going a love triangle going on there. And there are some reactions from the other people around, especially the religious ones, to his supposed abilities. Finally, we follow him try to come to terms with his power and what it means for his life. This is all well and good, except that we don't really care that much. Certainly not as much as we should. The story really has no drive. There's situation after situation, sometimes coincidentally linked, and there really isn't very much drama or change. The characters don't really change. The film does impact you, but it's really not as emotionally involving as it should be. Now the good points. The acting is great for all involved. This may be Christopher Walken's best performance. Certainly one of his least weird ones. That's gotta count for something. Martin Sheen is very intense as the senator candidate for senator, whatever. There's a real... I don't want to give too much away, but he really, really does well. One of his best performances also, I'd say. It was interesting watching this a day after Firestarter, in which he really isn't that good. Given that it is Cronenberg, it is, of course, beautifully shot, edited, scored. There's a real eerie quality to the movie. And it definitely is quite tense at points. The humor is okay. Part of the problem here is that this is really a brilliant concept, and the film does bring up some important ethical questions, but it just doesn't have the impact that it seems like it should have. It's okay for a treatment of the idea of what if you could change the future, but overall, it just isn't that impressive considering the acting performances, and David Cronenberg's direction. I haven't read the novel by Stephen King, nor have I really watched the show. I've, you know, caught a few minutes of it channel hopping, but that's about it. So I don't know if this does a better job of adapting it than the show does, or, you know, Overall, I would say, if you really want a film adaptation of this concept, this does the job, and there is a little bit of the Cronenberg magic, but 
it's really not his best and you could do far better with this concept. So anyway, that was my spoiler for review of The Dead Zone. Hope you enjoyed.